Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in HackerDay. So today is the day 18 and today we we'll solve the problem about queues and stacks. So let's go to the problem. For today's problem, we simply determine a given string is palindrome or not. So what is palindrome? So palindrome is a sequence of character which read the same backward and forward. So that if you read a string from left to right and then again read the string from right to left, if the two strings are same, then it is called palindrome. So I think you understand what is palindrome. So for determine a string is palindrome or not, you have to use two important data structure stack and queue. So how stack and queue help? to determine a given string is palindrome or not. I simply explain this by taking the example of the sample input given in this problem. So here is the race car. So if you read this race car from left to right, that means race car. And if you read the input from right to left, it also race car. That means it is palindrome. So I take this example and I go to my paint and I already make this two structure for stack and queue and if I insert this race curve into the stack then it simply store like this at first the R is stored so in this way the race curve is stored into the stack because for stack the insert element and for delete element from the same side so we push the element into the stack from this side and when we pop the element from the stack then again from this side. So that's why it is before data structure because the last element stored into the stack is the first element that pop out from the stack. So when we store this race card into the queue we simply store like this here R R. So that means for stack we store the element in this direction and for queue we store the element from this direction. So the two direction are opposite and for the queue it is a first in first out data structure. That means the first element stored into the queue is the element that first DQ from this queue. So NQ from this rear side and DQ from this front side and it is the property of the queue so when we pop an element from this stack and DQ an element from this queue and then compare them and if the element are same then go to this next and go to the next and to continue this process up to this R and if all the character are matched then we simply print that the string is palindrome. So I think you understand this problem. So I go to my hacker rank editor and click this three dot to expand this section. So for this main function all the code are pre-written. So I go through this code. So here simply declare an string variable s and then take user input for s and then create a solution class object and then iterate i0 to the length of the string and every time it simply call two function one is the push character and passes the value of si that means it is the character present in the ith position inside of the string and after that the nq character so this call are for push or nq the element into the stack and queue and for every character present in the string the function are called so that means all the character present in the string are pushed inside the stack and queue so after that here one boolean type variable is declared and a value is given true and after that again a for loop is present and it is iterated through 0 to half of the length of the string so every time it simply compare two character one is pop character 
that means the top character present in, in the stack and the DQ character that means the front character present in the queue and if the two character is not same then it simply initialize the value is palindrome is false and after that it simply break that means we came out from this loop and it simply check is palindrome is true or false if it is true then it print the word palindrome and it if it is false then it simply print the word is not palindrome so i think you understand the whole code present in this main function so i simply start writing my code from this comment page and write your code here so after that i simply declare a character type variable c and also declare two variable one is the stack and another is the queue so i write stack and it is the character type and name it st and after that the queue and it is also the character type and name it queue so i declare this two type of variable so for this we have to include two header file one is stack and another is so after declaring this two type of variable you simply complete the first function present in this main function so that is push character and it simply pass the si so i write void push character and inside of this push character character type and i name it ca and inside of this function you simply push the element into the stack so our stack variable is st and we write push ch that means the character is pushed in, into the stack so after that we simply complete this nq character function so i simply write void nq character and inside of this i simply declare an variable character and name it again ch and this time we simply push the character inside of the queue so i write q u and dot push and inside of this push i simply write ch so after that you simply complete this pop character function so this is the character type and pop character and inside of this pop character i simply write c equal to st dot top so that means the top element of the stack is stored into the C and after that we pop an element from the stack and then return the C so this function is done so after that we complete this DQ character function so I write again the same character and inside of this DQ character we again write C equal to QU dot front so that means the front element of the queue is stored into the c variable so after that you will simply write q u dot pop so that means the front element present in this queue we simply delete the element and after that return c so this function is also complete so i think the code is done so i simply check by clicking the run code button so it is processing and here we get a compilation error so here is the private within this context so what is the error oh we simply forget to public this function inside of this class so i simply write public so after that i simply check by run code button and again we get the compilation error so we make a mistake in the spelling of dq character after that we simply run the code this time the sample test is 0 and 1 is passed so i simply click submit code for test some additional test cases so all the test cases are passed so i think you understand this problem if you any doubt about this problem please comment in the comment section and please subscribe my channel and like my video so this is for the day 18 see you in the day 19 thank you friend goodbye